Dude, welcome back. Sorry to make you wait so long to see what happened when we got to the track, but let's just get right into it. All right, we go to Naperville Dragway. And if you guys have been to Naperville Dragway before, you've seen it. The drift course is actually basically a big parking lot with a bank corner on each side. The good thing about this, it's a perfect place to test out new things. And it's a perfect place if it's your first time out drifting because pretty much no matter what you do, you got room. You're gonna spin out and stuff, but there's room to cover your mistakes, to not hit a wall, you're gonna be okay. So this day that you're watching right now, there was two firsts. For me, this is my first time back on the track with the RX-7 tuned. I hadn't been back since I had the dyno run at Derwin Performance. I should have been out there much more this season, getting all the practice I wanted and needed, but things just don't work out sometimes, so we make do with what we can, right? And this is the first day that Jamie has ever tried drifting, besides just like playing around here and there, but this was his first time actually getting out on a racetrack and getting ready to let loose and see what drifting's all about. So I wanted him to go first so he could kind of see how tough it is because it's never really what you expect it to be. I mean, we've all done like the e-brake slides in the winter with, uh, you know, mom's grocery getter. But once you get out there on the track, it's a lot different. You're not anticipating how much G-force is there, how much you're gonna get thrown around inside your car, how fast you have to go to successfully slide. Uh, there's a big learning curve. So this is definitely a good place to do it. And then I was gonna go run a few laps after that. So that way he can kind of feel it and then maybe learn from me to see where he can improve or maybe I can teach him a few little tricks. But to break the ice, the first thing I did was I got in my car, I got everything ready and I got out there on the track because who could resist being on the track, right? Here's my first run of the day. with me it's really AJ's first time on a racetrack too drifting I mean I, I took him in my old 86 and we did a little street drifting but never really on a racetrack where you could really go all out I think he was impressed I think he had a good time and I'm kind of hoping that my kid brother is gonna get interested in drifting and start doing the dumb things that I do and build a car and come out there with me and just burn off tires and stuff I mean there's way worse ways to spend money my run was done and then it's Jamie's turn to go out and face the hard reality of what drifting really is. To get a first taste of it, to get the feel of it, to experience it. I think he's gonna like it.
day, it was really windy. AJ took over the camera. So it's not like I could walk around and talk to it because you guys wouldn't be able to hear a word I said anyway because of the wind and all the background noises. And then we probably get copyrighted for that music that they put on the little megaphone speaker they got going on. So at the track on this day, there was a couple other guys there with us and it's always fun to see some guys ripping around and doing their thing and stuff. So check out, this is all the stuff that was there at the track with us that just made the whole experience that much cooler and that much better. Who doesn't like the sound of a big gnarly V8, you know? Needless to say, this was a super great day for us. We had a lot of fun, we had friends out there supporting us, so there was me on the track. Jamie on the track. I brought AJ, he was running the cameras all day. Jamie came down with Sean. Sean brought his little hard body Nissan, which was a pretty sweet little truck, and he was nice enough to basically be a one-man pit crew for us. Because we were parked so far in the back, it was actually kind of a pain in the ass for us to drive the cars back there, change tires. And especially if you blew a tire on the track, I use my tires for every second that they're worth. So usually by the time I'm off the track, got no air left in it, there's wires sticking out and there's rubber smashing the side of my fenders. But Sean was there to bail me out, went and picked up all the stuff with his truck, brought it over to where my car was, we changed the tires, and everything was good. We got on our way for the next round. Now you guys have a basic idea of what happened that day. Still much more went on. Next video, let's just jump into Jamie's performance on the track. It was his first time out there. It went super good. He had a good time. The video after that, we'll talk about how my day went, things that I changed, things I did differently, and we'll go from there. Peace out, stay happy, and we'll see you soon. Yeah, baby.